in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to go from standard form to slope into sub form. But this is part two. So make sure you've already watched part one. All right, looking at this example, first thing I'm going to do is identify wherever my x variable is. It's right here. And I'm going to do the opposite of what I see. So since I see negative 6x, I'm going to be adding 6x to both sides of my equation. So I cancel that out, bring down my 4y. Now, of course, I cannot add 12 and 6x to each other because they're not like terms. So I'll just write it out and I'll put 6x first. Now, I'm going to divide every single term by whatever the coefficient of y is. My coefficient of y is 4, so I'm dividing everything by 4. So it cancels that out, bring down my y. As you can see, 6 divided by 4 in your calculator absolutely is going to give you a decimal. So we can just simplify this fraction. The number that can divide into 6 and 4 is the number 2. So when I divide each one of them by 2, I'll end up with a 3 over 2. So 3 over 2x. And of course, 12 divided by 4 is 3. And that's it. Let's look at another example. Once again, identify my variable of x. Do the opposite. So since it says positive x, I'm going to be subtracting x on both sides. Bring down my y. And then 7 minus x, they are not like terms, so I'm just going to write it out as negative x plus 7. Usually, I'll divide everything by whatever the coefficient of y is. But my coefficient of y is an imaginary 1. When I divide everything by 1, it's going to be the same thing. So therefore, I'm done. And that's it.